Newton's pulse, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's a bad matchup for <laughs> pulse. Well, the, the thing is that Obuka are really good versus heavy armored units, right? So, they are OP versus... So, this should be a really good fight for them, because uh, the, I don't think that there's any unit that has higher... Uh, a higher armor than the Teutonic Knights. Higher pierce... no, higher meal armor. So, it should be a perfect matchup. <laughs> oh, we were disqualified. Well, I mean, I can play even if the tank is there, but it's still, uh, it's not as easy matchup. Like it's not easy at all because uh, pulls are dangerous, and uh, I would assume that he's going for monk crash. Ah, uh, no, no monk crash. Sorry, <laughs> for trash, which is really sick with pulls. And he can put pressure this way, for sure. Like it's a pulls are simply dangerous if you play against, but this is this is a major sequence for Teutons. I would have to screw this one heavily to lose. A CA plus Cavalier. Well, I'm not sure that CA plus Cavalier is dealing too well with Teuton Paladins. I would actually bet on Teuton Paladins in that one. Uh, bloodless. I think playing Paladins there simply is the safest choice for me. Or like taking into the... Obviously I, I can play Halbeso. But it could be actually Agulay versus Obuch if I would miss ground shots. So I think Paladin is simply the safest choice for me. Why is it lagging right now? Sorry about it. Go for Help Siege? I'm not going for Help Siege. I wouldn't like that. I don't really like Help Siege composition, I have to say. But yeah, it wouldn't be a bad choice. I think Elite Tony Nice wouldn't be a bad choice either. Although then he does have Arbalest, if I'm not mistaken. So like Elite Tonic Knights and uh, End Siege wouldn't be bad for me at all. I don't see my second boar. Do I? It's not here, right? I'm pretty sure that I can count to two, so I, that I didn't took the board without me noticing. Oh, there it is, okay. That's fine. Mm, so let's, let's take the deers first. I will move there later. I think how he wants to play this, like he can trash, that's option number one, and likely the best option. How he can also play this is simply going for a heavy light gaff, which can work against Teutons. Get the map control and then forward castle full knights or buch. It's pretty legit choice how you want to play poles, because obviously for me I would have to play 
I would mostly play Halps if he's going for, or like Pikeman and Halps if he's going for Knights, and then a book should perform well against it. So that's an option. I mean, it's not that scary for me. Simply, uh, Teutons are quite good for map control as well. Unless they get uh, converted knights, which doesn't happen that often. Mm, let's actually go with 26. I, I think this is the mm, safest approach. First of all, it's better versus trash to go a bit faster. And secondly, it's better for relics and for map control. If I commit into into army. So that about the lax? I, I don't know why is it happening lately. It's pretty annoying. But so far it was really good, this stream. So just now. Paladin NHC with help should be better for Tudon. Yeah, I can play. Actually, I can play help, uh, help HC as well. That's true. Help HC would work, and um, then he has Arbalest though, so likely not. Uh, they, you simply have too many good compositions there with Teutons, which is not just this matchup. This is simply how Teutons play out. That unless the opponent has like really fast R plus safe or something that can capture the Teuton army in late game, like Mongols, then Teutons are so strong. Hmm, I screwed the BO. It's not good. Right, could be better than this, but wasn't too bad in the end. I think free scouts should be enough for now. Simply want to mainly get a couple of knights as well. Means I should like to send one more on gold. Brains are not too nice so far. Two in the middle, two really close to him. Actually, this one is good for me, but that's about it. Oh, really good relics. Oh, okay, this is how he wants to play it. Interesting. Well, I'm out of stone, so that isn't horrible. Not going to deny this. I'm afraid. I like it, it's creative. Um, and given that I will be out of stone, this is a pretty good option. Still, like for now, my, my monks should be really good here, and I likely need to play HC in the long term. HC, Defensive Siege, 
We'll have to play to DC only. I like this approach by him. I mean, Ziffen is something that can work here. Okay, so is he also getting relics here? Um, if he's booming behind this, then I should be in trouble. It's not a common choice here, but booming behind this position would be really strong for him. Because I have to play, I, basically I have to play 2TC HC here, HC BBC. And then he can play Arbalest. If he really like just gives up the position but trades it for the better boom, you know, if he's pushing there, I have to play defensive to TC only. He's getting two more TCs on his own, so he will be playing like three or four TC even. Then I'm pushing it back, but then we are in position when I push his forward back and he's just having further more villages than me. So that can be tricky for me. Well, he can he can castle drop sure. Yes. It's not too obvious. It's not a common play at all. But um, as I said, I, I don't. I think it makes a lot of sense for him to play this way. I think we can also squeeze in fair TC here. Let's go aggressive with this army.
Okay, there's a defensive castle. Got it. Yeah, so Madre isn't going for the all-in. As you can see, he's blooming behind us. So my decision to... No, no, no. Easy. Drop the lot in this core right now. Okay, so it is a question. It's crossbow, okay, okay. It's very interesting. Because we will deal with this. I didn't see crossbows, I have to say. That's really good. Okay. Uh, yeah, mo mostly Modri has better micro than this, okay? Don't, don't estimate his micro just based on, on this. But like, he can put a lot of pressure here. To be very careful for this one.
Okay, that's the cleanup. So much pressure on me with this. Hello, I will like uh, his approach. He has to be. He gotta be somewhere. So that's my guess, basically. That there's some somewhere. Where is Modre? Maybe not over entirely. The fact that I don't have a castle because I wasn't on stone in this game. Go elite scams. Ah, oh, my God. Thank you. 
I'm not annoyed that I don't know where he is. It's like. Oh, they have Bombard Cannons? I didn't know that one. Okay, so they can play Arbalas BBC. Okay, then they are not too bad actually against Teutons. There you go, I think you can be fast enough there. I swear to God, I have no clue where he is. It's like, is he on this on the same map? It's like, mother is in a different game here. Where is he? Here? Again, he brought so many air blasts. For, for, for. Okay. <laughs> what a damn game. Ugh. I guess I needed bombard cannons myself faster. I had the, I had the resources for them. My <laughs> Madrid at first. I, I have 100 villages. I mean, I have a lot of eco here. I have, up here, I have double the eco what he has left. So, no, don't worry there. Although he has four Alex, uh, that helps. Also, I have eco here though. But uh, really, uh, credits to credits to him how he played this one. Uh, I might actually upload this game as well into Age of Creativity on YouTube because this was uh, really well played by Montre. Like, I mean, <laughs> this uh, how he lost there like uh, most of his army to my Mangonels that uh, was sloppy. But 
Adrende, like the former castle, using his uh, farm bonus, farm bonuses for going really up, uh, going up really fast, and then Arbalest. I, I, I like it. Uh, it's very legit choice how you want to use, uh, how you want to use poles. And also the fact that I wasn't on stone in this game, because also his stone was here, so I couldn't... I, I simply, is there any stone that I can take? I don't think so, right? No, there is not. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was taking this stone. My bad, my bad. I was taking this stone. But th that sucks because then I cannot push back. Like, uh, he always goes back to his castle. I cannot make traps. I cannot make conscription. I, I don't have something to protect me because if I have their bombard cannons, like one, two bombard cannons in a castle, I'm, I'm also fine. So, yeah, th that sucked a bit. But. I, like regardless how how this game looked, I think it was quite a high level game. Like regarding decision making, Modri playing this strategy that was real well executed, and me going for the counter attack was the crucial part of this game. Because if I wouldn't use the Mangonels monks and knights to go forward and attack his base, then this castle wouldn't be here, but it would be here. One thing. Second thing, his army wouldn't go back, but it would be also here. Second thing. And third thing, I wouldn't kill his ego. Yeah, he needed the castle for pushing, but this is why he wanted to make the castle here. And then he needed the third castle here because he was pushed off his base, right? If he's not pushed off his base, then he doesn't need those two castles. So that was the crucial part. I'm not sure why he's the best. Uh, Darina, I do understand you are a Modri fan. It's fine, but. Enough is enough. 24-44, that's decent. Ramaku would be proud of this playstyle. Nice play, well played.